Hey designers and non-designers and welcome back to another tutorial. If you watched and enjoyed our parallax tutorial from a couple of months ago, then you are in luck because today is another special effects video where we're basically going to run through how to create this super cool horizontal stacked poster scroll in ReadyMag. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. So I first came across this effect in our ambassador Helena's portfolio and was instantly hooked. It's the kind of effect that makes such an impression in the moment, really makes you pause and encourages play, exploration, and interactivity. It also just makes you want to know the designer behind this kind of work and effect, which builds a ton of cool intrigue. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is not an effect you want to madly overuse, but if you feature it just right, it will wow your website visitors and make sure that your portfolio or site is definitely one to remember. So how do we build it? Well, it's actually pretty easy. If you're familiar with a typical horizontal image scroll, you'll know that it works by having several pinned images move across your screen, activated by a scroll animation. Our stacked poster scroll works similarly, but the only difference is the widget end position. So let's dive into how we do this step by step. Let's start with a blank project in our ReadyMag editor. First step is to pop in all our images. Click the picture widget from the widget panel and drop in your first image. Duplicate your widget multiple times to ensure all image dimensions stay the same and replace each with your other images. Now space your images out to their starting position. They can be touching or you can leave some padding in between. This is purely up to you and your desired layout. You're going to want to scroll across your page or zoom out of your artboard to be able to place your images properly. They should all be aligned in a straight line with equal spacing between them. Next, let's add a grid to our project to provide us with a guide for our animation. Click on grid and layout and then create columns. Maybe 18 or so in this case, as that looks like good spacing for our posters. Adjust the gutter between your columns to one. Okay, finally on to animation. We don't actually need our first image to move. So let's select the second image and click animation. Now click scroll, click move, and now manually drag your poster to the end position of where you want it to scroll to, which in our case will be one column after our first poster. This is why that grid we just made is so crucial for this project to use as a guide. Great, let's leave the animation speed at one for now. We can always speed things up or make things slower later. Let's follow the same steps for all our next posters, always creating a move on scroll animation and dragging the image to the next column over. Make sure you keep track here of what column number you're on so you don't have like two posters accidentally ending up on the same spot. You could use a little temporary shape or line created with the shape widget here to help you count your columns and like move it every time. You'll need to zoom out again to access your posters off screen or simply scroll across your artboard to reach them. With either option, just keep to the grid to orient yourself. Okay, we did it. Now you'll notice one crucial issue when we preview our live animation, our poster scroll up and down as well as side to side. We obviously need to fix this. So in our scaled layout, we're gonna select all images, click position and pin them to the center of our screen. Now they're not gonna go anywhere. Now let's preview again. Now they should only scroll horizontally the way we want them to. As you're previewing your live animations, if you notice they don't play right or get cut off, it's because your page height is too short. This is super important. A horizontal scroll animation always needs a high pixel count to play. So let's adjust our page height to something big enough that allows our animation to play in full. Okay, nice. Now what you should be left with is this super cool effect that shuffles your posters into a neat overlapping pile on your screen as you scroll. You could always take this design a step further and create links for each image. So they link out to articles or live social posts, for example, or even make them draggable by clicking the draggable button so users can drag them around and see each more clearly. You could also select the light box option so viewers can see each poster full screen or even add another animation type like scale on hover. If you want to go really crazy, you can even mix in a couple videos instead. So you don't just have images and then you can include some animated and like motion graphic -y posters. Last little tip, 
If you stack all of your pages vertically, you can also add content above and below this stack poster scroll by starting a new page and adding whatever you want there. We should also mention that this effect definitely will work on mobile, but you'll want to tweak the design and your animation parameters there to make sure it looks right on like a smaller vertical screen. Okay, congrats, we did it. I hope this was easy enough to follow and I really hope you can start incorporating this effect and like these principles into all of your projects right away. We'll see each other in a little bit in the next YouTube tutorial and until then, check out the rest of our channel and follow us on TikTok for a bunch of like mini tutorials, tips, inspo, anything you can imagine. It's super fun on there. So give us a follow if you haven't already. Right, that's it. We'll catch you in the next one and until then, happy designing.